I uh, give uh, $200, 200,000, uh, sorry, uh, euro, and also I give another 200,000 uh, if it is matched uh, by uh, other donors. So, uh, besides the 200,000, you will match uh, what people donate on October. Yeah, during this month uh, of uh, October until the end of uh, the end of the month, uh, for each, uh, if you give one euro, if you donate one euro, you actually donate uh, two euros for uh, Science for Longevity. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Nicholas, and today uh, I'm gonna talk to Didier Cornell. Uh, Didier is a lawyer. He's co-chair and founder of Healis. Uh, an entity, a non-profit entity from Belgium that uh, helps uh, to fund and to make advocacy to speed up the development of longevity technologies uh, in general. So recently, uh, DDA, um, we heard the news that DDA uh, donated 200,000 euros to uh, Longevity Escape Velocity Foundation which is the, funda the foundation led by uh, Dr. Aubrey de Grey, uh, who is a very senior scientist in the rejuvenation science. So to talk about uh, that donation and the reasons and, and why uh, he did it, we are here with Didier. Uh, so Didier, um, how are you? Great, thank you. So uh, Didier, please. Can you explain to the public why uh, you are making this donation and what the Longevity Escape Velocity Foundation precisely do? At the moment, the maximal lifespan in the world is not extending a lot. People don't live longer than 120 years old. And I think it is very important for all of us to be uh, able in a not so far future to live longer, a much longer and much healthier lives. To know what it is possible, the best way to measure this is to make uh, experiments with uh, old mice. And there are not many experiments made uh, uh, with old mice in the world. And uh, at the moment, the LEVF Foundation, the Longevity Escape Velocity Foundation, uh, is doing uh, such an experiment with uh, 1,000 mice. This first experiment is uh, will be uh, ended soon, and they will start a second experiment uh, uh, in a few months. And for this, uh, they absolutely need uh, 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 money from uh, donors uh, because it's a non-profit uh, organization. And that's why I uh, gave uh, $200, 200,000, uh, sorry, uh, euro. And also I give another 200,000 uh, if it is matched uh, by uh, other donors. So uh, besides the 200,000, you will match uh, what people donate on October. Yeah, during this month uh, of uh, October until the end of uh, the end of the month, uh, for each, uh, if you give one euro, if you donate one euro, you actually donate uh, two euros for uh, science for longevity. Okay, and you said that uh, the foundation, uh, the Longevity Escape Velocity Foundation, will will make um, a second experiment. Uh, so. What do you expect uh, from this second experiment? I mean, uh, regarding the, um, the, the the therapies that will be uh, implemented. I mean, many people uh, here in this maybe doesn't know about the details of this second experiment and, and which you know therapies will be tried. What do you expect from it? Maybe a few words about the first experiment. The first experiment, uh, experiment was with, uh, I said it, a thousand mice uh, and with four therapies, th therapies uh, combined. So there, there, there were experiments with only one therapy, two, three, four, uh, and combination. And it gives a very promising results. So it is very clear that some mice, some treated mice with a therapy or with combination of, of therapies, 
are uh, living much longer. The second experiment will be with uh, other therapies, plus probably for all the uh, animals treated with uh, rapamycin and also with more exercise, you know, to uh, make it already, um, uh, let's say, uh, already uh, a bigger chance uh, that uh, the, the mice are living uh, much longer, uh, much longer li lives. And the goal of uh, the LEVF is to have a really uh, big difference between the lifespan now and the lifespan that they will have. And I forgot to say that uh, the tests are made on old mice. On old mice is mice uh, more than, uh, uh, let me think, uh, 18 months old. So it's the equivalent of 60 years for a human. So let's say that uh, this second experiment can show a considerable uh, extension in, in the life of the rats. How do you think that this could you know, translate to, to, to humans because, you know, rats uh, or mice. Yeah, mice, mice are not humans. That's a classical thing that uh, people who uh, say, well, it's not so useful uh, will tell. And they are right, of course. There are many differences between uh, uh, mice, rats and humans. But there is a, 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 a there are also many common points. Uh, they are uh, mammals. And also, um, they have uh, uh, mice and humans have a very clear maximal lifespan. For mice, it's uh, a, a bit less than four years, and for humans, it's a bit less than 120 years. Um, so, if one day we have an experiment where we have uh, mice living uh, more than four years, we know that there is uh, already something uh, really important that we discovered concerning uh, longevity. After that, it will be, of course, not sure that it will work uh, with humans, uh, but at the moment, there is nothing working for the humans and nothing working for mice. If you take uh, uh, a perfect life, let's say, for mice, and you give them the, the products that we already know for prolonging life, uh, no mice will live longer than four years yet. So we need more research to go further. You know, I would like to ask you a bit about the your relationship with Aubrey de Grey because we we can perceive that your donation is relate is related to, to your relationship with Aubrey. So, I, if you have to tell uh, potential donors about the reasons to do it, can you talk about why do you think that Aubrey is a you know, a good uh, option because there are many options, you know. So why should people, you know, support Aubrey's foundation? Well, first, uh, like I said already, because it's a non-profit uh, organization and uh, uh, that they are really doing uh, things uh, very uh, useful. Nobody in the world is doing uh, uh, similar experiments uh, with so many uh, mice. And even uh, there are uh, very few organizations who are uh, testing with mice until the end of their of their life. And this is for me uh, very sad that uh, we we are studying things concerning longevity without really uh, checking on longevity. That's the first thing, the first aspect. The second aspect is more personal. So I know many uh, people active in the longevity field uh, since. Uh, uh, 15 years, uh, and uh, I've been asking uh, advice to Robert de Grey quite a few times uh, because I gave money for other uh, uh, projects, and uh, Robert de Grey never told me, oh, no, no, but you should give money to me and not uh, to the other, other organizations, you know, so I know that uh, it's somebody uh, that you can uh, trust. Uh, yeah, and uh, last uh, and sad uh, is the fact that at the moment they really uh, need money to, to go further. So what I also want to say is um, there are other ways uh, maybe to have uh, progress for longevity. They, they are all uh, aspects related to uh, artificial intelligence. 
They are all aspects related to uh, new gene therapies. I, I have a limited amount of money, and this is the most uh, promising thing uh, that you can do with a small amount of money, <laughs> relatively small. So, and by the way, I forgot to say one of the, one also of the reasons to uh, support the work of uh, of uh, uh, the LEVF is the fact that the data are available, that everything is uh, public uh, concerning the work. Because, uh, um, yeah, sadly, quite a few um, people and organizations uh, who are testing things, they give only the results when it is good. And uh, when, there is, uh, when there are no good results, they don't give the results here. They are uh, giving information about everything, also things who don't work. Regarding the new trial, the second trial, how well the treatment uh, needs to, to be uh, do you think to translate to to humans? How well the rats uh, should should uh, be in this uh, second trial to to allow uh, to translate into humans? My opinion for me is more if you have uh, um, mice living uh, really longer than the maximal lifespan and in a sufficient number, it will be uh, really uh, a proof that there is something uh, positive. So. Like I said already, more than four years for me would be really something. Aubrey uh, has a history in uh, in the in the regeneration science with several nonprofits. I mean, it's the third nonprofit of Aubrey. The first was uh, Methuselah Foundation, right? Then the Sense Research Foundation, and then Longevity Escape Velocity Foundation. Since when you? You started to, to have this relationship uh, and this uh, following Aubrey's work. Well, I follow uh, Aubrey's work since about uh, 15 years. And actually, before uh, giving money to the organization, I invited him for uh, a conference, for conferences. And that's one of the great things of this uh, person. He's uh, always uh, accepting to come when it is uh, possible, even if it is for... Uh, let's say 10 people, uh, um, even uh, if it is, uh, he, he, for example, he, sl he slept in my small house, you know, no need for hotel and so on, uh, so long, uh, very long ago. So he's really somebody ded dedicated, uh, uh, and there are sadly not so, so many. And uh, also another example is uh, when uh, his mother uh, died, uh, most of the money, uh, coming from his mother was going uh, to the uh, to the Sense Foundation at this time, so for longevity and not for himself. There is a an important question uh, that is a is a bit of a sensitive uh, subject. But if you are talking about people donating uh, to uh, Aubrey's foundation, it's important to approach it. Um, the Foundation that Aubrey uh, led previously, uh, Sense Research Foundation, uh, there, there was a, a, a problem some years ago that, that there was a, a very big fundraising and then uh, there were problems between Aubrey and the foundation and he left the foundation. So part of the money wasn't precisely used for the uh, for Aubrey discretion. So uh, in this New foundation, people can think, well, but uh, what really happened in, in, in the previous foundation? Maybe that can happen again. So what could you say to the people that can be endowed because of what happened in, in the last foundation? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a long, long story. To keep the long story short, uh, at the end, there, there were allegations of, uh, uh, there were allegations concerning uh, uh, Aubrey de Grey uh, of uh, harassment, uh, but at the end, uh, it was officially declared that there was uh, nothing, and there was uh, indeed uh, uh, Sense Foundation uh, uh, not using all, all the money for longevity, and this is sad. But now the, the new uh, foundation is, so uh, Aubrey de Grey was the most well-known people in the Sense Foundation, but he was not the boss, and now he's the boss. That's very simple. Okay. 
So I suppose that you are satisfied with uh, the first uh, trial with, with the mice. Uh, so do you expect that uh, the second study will start this year or maybe next year? When do you expect the next trial start? The preliminary uh, operations that uh, I support uh, uh, to prepare the second phase uh, are already uh, going on normally, or they will be uh, at least uh, before the end, the end of the, the, the month. And then it depends of uh, funding. Uh, so if there is uh, funding, it will begin uh, uh, next uh, year. If there is no funding, of course, it will uh, even not begin. <laughs> yeah, it is... Uh, It is incredibly strange that uh, Aubrey de Grey, who is probably the most well-known uh, person in the world concerning longevity, and in my opinion, is doing uh, one of the best works, uh, doesn't get the money. And by the way, um, I know many, many people uh, in the longevity uh, world, many uh, scientists, and I didn't hear one scientist saying uh, this experiment is not a useful experiment. Of course, there are people doing other experiments, but I didn't hear one scientist saying, oh, this is uh, not serious because of this or others. Aubrey's strategy is to um, accumulate the effect of several um, treatments. Yes. So in the first trial, four uh, treatments were combined in the second Uh, trial another four uh, treatment of other four treatments will be combined. We expect that in one of the trials, some treatment can be special, let's say. Not, not only the combination, but some treatment can uh, be more prominent. How, how many trials do you think would be necessary to find um, some treatment or combination of treatments because we are in the second. That's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> And nobody knows, you know. And uh, we have to know, once again, uh, the maximal longevity uh, lifespan is something that is not changing at the moment. Uh, and uh, probably it will be uh, complicated. But... Uh, on the other side, uh, already what's in the uh, first phase uh, is giving uh, promising results. And in the second phase, they will, uh, let's say, already uh, use, uh, I said it normally, rapamycin plus also exercise. So they are um, relatively sure that they will have a better uh, that they will have better results for the than for the first uh, uh, first phase but to be sure you have to do it you and uh, yeah And, um, the the treatments for the second uh, trial are already defined but if if there are future uh, trials a third or a, a fourth uh, do you uh, do you have any you know, treatment that you would like to, to be tested in the mice? Yeah, I, I would say I don't know yet what will be the signs in uh, 12 uh, or, 20, or 24 uh, months. Uh, for me, the most uh, promising uh, aspects, aspect, sorry, concerning uh, therapies is always uh, gene therapy for longevity, but uh, at the moment uh, we don't know so many uh, genes uh, who are really changing uh, lifespan already, but that's there is my hope. So if I, if I had to choose uh, tomorrow what to test, it would be, uh, I would give priori priority to gene therapy, but, uh, but sadly, there is not so much available at the moment. Uh, in the first experiment was uh, rapamycin, uh, a senolytic, um, uh, technology to elongate telomeres, and um, stem cells, uh, a specific uh, type of, of stem cells. So, And in the second, and in the second uh, experiment, 
I have he I have here the the um the therapies is uh deuterated fatty acids. Uh the other one is mouse serum albumin, mesenchymal stem cells, and partial cellular reprogramming. So um partial cellular reprogramming seems to 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 be the most uh similar to, to the uh a gene therapy once again for me what is important it's a, a, a great number of animals uh with many um with as much possible um different therapies and with the most promising uh, things well did i hope that other other people can join join you uh in this in this donation even because you know, you will match the, the October uh, donations. So what do you have some final words for, for you know, the people that uh, it's, it's uh, watching this and, you know, to, to, to incentivize them to uh, join you in the donation? Yeah, let's say for uh, people who are uh, uh, relatively uh, rich or not really uh, poor, uh, actually you can pay for most things uh, who are uh, necessary for your life. You can go uh, for vacation, uh, you can have a small house and so on. There is only one thing that you cannot buy at the moment uh, is uh, healthy life uh, more healthy life years more. And um, this uh, could be possible with medical and scientific uh, uh, progress and you can contribute uh, for this uh, and you can contribute for this uh, for you, but also potentially for all people in the world who are interested in this, uh, who want it. Uh, because uh, yeah, longevity, if it is uh, one day possible, it will be only for the people who want, eh? not be, not. It will not be for the people who don't want, but it will be uh, for everybody uh, wanting it. So, uh, uh, people who is watching, so uh, don't uh, don't forget that uh, is only on the month of October. So, uh, everybody who donates to the um, Longevity Escape Velocity Foundation led by Aubrey de Grey on October. Uh, we will have uh, their um, donation matched uh, by DDA. And um, one important thing, uh, it, it's not uh, necessary to, um, you know, to uh, mark the donation with any uh, special uh, signature all the donations for for the foundation as a whole in October will be matched by by DDA, correct? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, at the moment it's the situation. Yeah. So um, everybody uh, who watched this this um, this interview, so we talked to um, DDA Cornell. DDA, thank you very much, and thank you for your donation of two hundred thousand dollars to longevity uh, two hundred thousand euros to longevity escape velocity led by Aubrey de Grey and we hope that people can uh, make uh, other donations during October in order you match the donations and this number can uh, increase so thank you very much for the interview and thank you very much for uh, the donation to Aubrey's foundation Thanks, Nicola.